what defines a person. It's not their job or their wealth, or even their high score on Fluffy Bird. Rather, a person is defined by every moment of their life. The decisions they make may only take a second, but the effects can last a lifetime. Some decisions have bigger effects on us than others. And what better place to start than at home? I was homeschooled for the first 13 years of schooling, all the way from kindergarten through high school. We were never an anti-public school family. In fact, I was uh, all signed up to start at the local elementary school. But before I started, they said I needed to know how to count and know all my colors. So my mom figured since she had to teach me all that, she might as well teach me the rest. Couple this with a bunch of homeschooling moms that she met, and the decision was made. We kept telling ourselves, one more year, and then we'll consider sending me to regular school. But it just kept working out for us. I got to have some amazing experiences that wouldn't have been possible if I went to private school or public school. It also instilled in me a strong sense of independence. I still remember my freshman year of college, the teacher kept saying, remember, you're not in high school anymore. And I always thought to myself, well, wasn't this expected in high school? One of the challenges of homeschooling is, of course, socializing. To help with that, I turned to Boy Scouts. Boy Scouts? Oh, I had a lot of great experiences with Boy Scouts. I went in there as a shy, uh, quiet kid who was just going to stay with it for a couple years into being one of the leaders who had earned the rank of Eagle Scout. Earning the rank of Eagle ended up getting me a job here. I knew my boss's father from church, so when I needed to fundraise for my Eagle Scout project, I asked him for a donation. And afterwards, um, he contacted me looking for Eagle Scouts who would be interested in a job. So, I took, a, I took up the offer and applied. Working with the various machines at the car wash would go hand in hand with my love for engineering, which I would eventually study at Purdue. Eventually, I would take the critical thinking and leadership skills I learned at the car wash and use them right here at Purdue. I started off as a supplemental instruction leader for Math 115. Then the tutor coordinator position became open, so I applied. Now I spend most of my time in Guide 102, making schedules and coordinating over 50 student workers. only been tutor coordinator for a short time, the leadership and managerial skills I've gained will go a long way in helping me once I enter the job market. So far, all these experiences have had a huge impact on my life. However, there's one that is continually impacting me, and that is religion. It's already helped me to develop my morals and ethical choices. However, there's one recent experience that really had a huge impact on me. <laughs> well, seeing the Pope up close was really cool, that wasn't the highlight or the biggest takeaway from my trip to Philadelphia. I originally went down seeing it as a mini vacation. I get to miss a couple days of school, I get to see uh, historic Philadelphia, and get to go to some really awesome museums. However, with a large group of people that came down from our area, and the hundreds of thousands of other people in the city, 
my plans quickly got thrown out the window. I went from being just a pilgrim there to have fun to being one of the leaders in our group, making sure that all 140 people got from point A to point B safely. By the end, everyone knew my name and where to find me. I didn't get to see any of my museums, but I got to help out a lot of people along the way. I also made sure they got home safely. <laughs>